Do not attempt to adjust your set. This is a streaming freedom video bulletin. It cannot be stopped, and it is the only free voice left on the net. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today's Skyrim mod showcase on the PS4 is appropriate that's so close to Halloween because it'd be a treat for those of you that enjoyed the old FOV mods that we used to have that were broken by the AE update and if you were unaware that there is now a functioning FOV mod that changes that as well as other things that you can now download and install on your PS4 and PS5. All credit for this video goes to MF Sports, who was kind enough to mention to me about this mod as I was unaware of it and give me its name. With that said, let's see how to find this mod. So in order to find this mod, you want to bring up the search function with L1 and then type in FOV Changer to the search bar. Should be the first mod that comes up. The name of the mod is FOV Changer and more is by the mod author Cyan49 and the mod description reads Craft with cooking pot spit and use potions to change FOV and more. You can set first person hand FOV, disable the kill camera, disable the snow shader, hide the compass, zoom books and notes, set grass density, and set shadow resolution although this is experimental. Also a note to version 2.0 users, Cyan says that he made it ESL flagged ESP. You may need to reset using set FOV to 80, which is the default, to reapply any FOV. Now that we've downloaded and enabled the mod, you want to make your way over to any either cooking pot or cooking spit. I'm going to go ahead and use the cooking pot here located in Breeze Home. I guess miscellaneous probably. Yeah, okay. So as you can see, we have a potion here to disable the kill camera. Now, I'm not going to craft that because I don't intend to get any fights in the showcase, but it would be there if you want to use it. We'll go ahead and craft this, which is to disable the snow shader. Here we can disable the zoom books and notes. Also, you can enable the kill camera, as you saw. Enable the snow shader, which I will also use, as well as enable zoom books and notes. There is a potion to hide your compass. And then here are your FOV mods. These are all for first person. As you can see, we have anywhere from 100, it looks like, to 120. Here is the default 80, and there is a few more after it. So I'm going to go ahead and create one of each of these. I'm not going to use all of them, just a couple, but that way we kind of have, you know, difference to choose from as we test it. While these are all for first person, if you play in third, then you want to use these. And again, as you can see, it's anywhere from 100 to 105, 110, etc. So I'll go ahead and do the same here and create one of each of them. But again, I'll only be testing a couple for uh, the showcase. Also, please keep in mind, while I'm only crafting one of these, you can craft as many potions as you need. Like, for example, if you need several of that default 80 when changing your FOVs, I'm just crafting one, of course, for the showcase. Here is the Grass Density Potion, this one is the default, this one will set your Grass Density to high, also it says it has a performance cost, so keep that in mind. This one is a Density to low, and it does say that you need to load once per first load after the game startup to reapply Grass Density, okay, so I may have to load a save or something after using these. In any case, here is the shadow resolution. Now, this is the experimental thing, and it does say here that it probably won't work. We'll go ahead and test it. And here, you can enable your compass if you disabled it with the other potion. And let's see, that looks like that is all of them. That two at the bottom, that's from something else. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead and save my footage, and I will meet you guys outside. Okay, so, we'll go ahead and test the compass potion first. As you can see, I currently have mine visible at the top of the screen. So, heading into items, I'm going to select potions, and let's go ahead and select this, hide compass. Go ahead and press X on this to use. And, as you can see, my compass is now gone. And, of course, you could just go into your settings and uh, lower your HUD to make it disappear, but that would remove all the HUD. This just removes the compass, and if you're like me and get lost without it, then you 
can re-enable it once I find where it's at. Uh, right here with this show compass, so I'll go ahead and choose X on this to use. And now you'll see that we have the compass back. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the FOV mods. Actually, here, as a reference, here's my hands. Please take a look at where they're currently at on screen. Go ahead and select potions again. And since I am in first person, I'm going to select these. So as you can see, we have anywhere from 100 to 120, and then a little few uh, lower at the bottom there in the default 80. Let's go ahead and select the 100 FOV for now. Now we need to go into the... Thanks a lot, buddy. Just change the perspective. Again, please take a look at my hands where they're at. We need to go into the map to actually activate this. So go into the map, then cancel out with circle. And as you can see, now there's a little bit of the uh, cuff of my sleeves that you can see. So it did work. Let's go ahead and zoom it out more. So let's uh, use... Um, let's go to 120. That should be a big difference. So go ahead and select that. Once again, we're going to bring up the map with circle. So go into your options, go down the map, then cancel back out with circle. And yeah, as you can see, that's greatly extended now, the FOV in first person. That's kind of a weird fisheye look to me, so I'm going to go ahead and change this back to default. So let's go ahead and select that. Make certain that if you're in first person, you use the one that is for first person. And just like before, go into your map, cancel back out with circle. And now you'll see that my hands are back in the original position that they once was. Let's go ahead and see about the third person FOV mods next. So just like before, let's go ahead and scroll down to these. These are the ones if you are using the third person camera. Let's go ahead and use the 100. Go into the map. Cancel out with circle. And yeah, as you can see, the camera is pulled further away from my character now. Go ahead and select another one. So go back into potions. Now as you can see, I'm able to change these. Let's use the 120. I'm able to change these without having to default it back to 80 each time. But if it isn't working for you, then craft several of that default 80 and use it in between. As you can see, this really zoomed it out. This is the 120. And again, if I don't like the look of that, I can go down to this version for the third camera and select it, the default 80. It looks like it already did reset it, but let's go ahead and go back into the map just to be sure. And now it is back to the way it was originally. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first person because that's what I normally play in, and we will set an FOV for the uh, remainder of this showcase. I don't want to set it too high though because if it has that weird fisheye effect, it makes me nauseous. So let me see what I have left and... Um, Let's see, um, let's go about, yeah, 105. Okay, yeah, that's good enough. As you can see, the FOV is uh, active, and, and the fisheye isn't too bad. Normally, I don't play with these FOV mods. I prefer the camera where it is, but I know a lot of you guys like these mods, which is the reason why I want to make the showcase for you. And again, thank you to MF Sports for making this possible, for letting me know that this mod existed. Okay, so next let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the zoom for the books and notes. This is a mod that, uh, let's go ahead and find a book here as reference. This is a mod, um, yeah, let's just use this. So here's what it looks like default the way it would look normally in the game. This is a mod that originally was broken by the AE update. I don't know if he has fixed the standalone version since, but we can use it here. So let's go to um, Did I overlook it? Oh, yeah, I did. To enable zoom book and notes go ahead and select it. It does say to use this if the uh, other mod doesn't work for you to try this. So go ahead and use X on this. Now we'll go ahead and select the book. And yeah, 
that clearly zoomed in. So now as you can see, the book is zoomed right up to the camera. Perfect for if a particular book would have smaller print or if you're somebody that has trouble seeing and you need, need it closer to the camera, that would be perfect for you. Uh, let's see, likewise, let's take a look at what it looks like for a note. So as you can see, here's what it looks like zoomed in for a note. And also, I'll select uh, a journal. Okay, that one zooms in a little too much there at the top. But still, if need be, uh, if you find that this is too close, then you can disable it, of course, by going back to your potions and selecting this option, which is to disable Zoom Books and Notes. And now you'll notice that if we go back into what we just looked at, which was the journal, it's now set back to the default of where it originally was. So next I'm going to uh, set up trying to showcase this experimental mod. I don't exactly know what I'm looking for yet. So let me go ahead and force a save and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. Okay, so I figured being as this has to do with shadows, I've set the time of day to a point that the sun is really kind of shining through the trees that I have here in White Run to where hopefully they'll give us like a good idea to do with shadows. So we're gonna go to potions and then let me find where it's at in here. Okay, so, oh, I have to close and restart the game to apply the resolution, okay. So, as you can see, we have a default, which is what it is currently at, as well as we have a 1024 and a 512 resolution. I'm not exactly certain what these are supposed to do, if it just changes, like, the amount of shadow that you see or whatever. So, best thing that I can do to showcase this, being as I'm going to have to close the game anyways, is I'm going to put a cut in right here, a swipe. Let me go ahead and force a save so that the game loads up at the exact same time with the same lighting conditions so please take a look at the way it looks right now on screen and I will insert a swipe here and be back with you guys in just a second okay so I'm now back in game after using the potion I forced a save and then I quit the app completely and closed it hold it back in and if I do my editing in post correctly, then you should have seen a transition swipe the way the game looked then versus now. As far as while I'm currently in here, I honestly can't say if Good I really see, see again, a friend. change or not. Mm -hmm. uh, get out of the way so I can see. <laughs> oh, uh, while I'm thinking about it, uh, something else I want to test. Okay, so the FOV mod that I used before is still active, even though I closed the uh, game completely. So as long as you don't change it and you force the save after using the FOV mod, mm -hmm. then it should remain active in your save file without having to use the potion again. As far as if the shadow uh, mod is working, I honestly can't say. The lighting looks maybe a little different, but I, I'm not for sure. So next we'll be taking a look at the grass density potions and I do need to say that I currently have several grass mods including dense grass active that could have some conflicts with these potions. I wasn't thinking I should have disabled my grass mods when I enabled this mod but like I said I wasn't thinking and all honesty guys I'm too lazy I don't want to have to do like I just did with closing out and reloading and everything so. Set grass density to high. This does give a warning that it has a performance cost and may have too much synergy with mods like dense grass. Well, of course. Uh, if I crash using these guys, it's my own fault. Any case, set grass density to low. I forgot, said that I have to load once per first load after the game startup to reapply the grass density, meaning I have to do what I just did again. Shit. Of course. Okay, so, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and we'll use, well, actually I got an idea here before I use any of these. Uh, we'll use the high, because that way we can see how high it sets it. But I'm going to go ahead and set the resolution for the shadow thing that we tested back to default since I have to load the game anyways. I'm going to close that completely. I don't know if I need to do that with these grass ones. But let me go ahead. I'm going to make a, uh, save right now so that, uh, oh. 
Now, did it work? Because all the grass was gone. I don't know. I mean, it looks about as thick as it was before, but... Uh, well, in any case, let me go ahead and make a save, and when I come back in, we'll see if it looks any different or not. I'll make another transition swipe, so I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. Alright, so, I am back in game. I, as much as enjoyed doing it, closed the app completely, I reloaded the save just like last time, and I will have put in another transition swipe for you guys as well as myself to see in editing um, as of right now looks the same to me uh, let's go ahead and try a different potion let's so uh, let's go to the lowest ultra low select that and uh, it does say I have to oh I have to load it again all right Oh, wait a minute. Now, that is clearly, I can tell that right off the bat, that is clearly lower than it just was, so maybe I don't have to load after each of these to get it to work? Um, if you guys are going to use these mods, go ahead and follow what the description tells you to do. I'm not going to load again, because I don't want to have to keep doing that when I change the grass with the potions, but you guys, don't, don't be like me. Follow what the description tells you to do. Uh, but yeah, that is clearly, I can tell that right here, that is clearly lower than it just was. So maybe the high one did work as well, I just didn't notice it. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll use the default one. It's not really much point using the low, but we'll set it default. And yeah, that looks about like it did when I first came back in. And again, because I have a grass mod, that might be affecting the way it looks. So if you didn't have grass mods active, you might get wildly different results from me. But it clearly is working because that other was way lower than, than this even. So, yeah. Okay, friends. So next we'll be taking a look at the two snow shaders, the enable and disable. I went in sort of the time of day that we kind of get like some uh, shadowing and some not see the difference. So, let's see, uh, yeah, so let's use this one first to disable the snow shader. At least I don't have to reload the game, thank you. And I don't have to on that one either, great. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll use disable. I think I saw a little bit of a difference there right when I used it. Uh, can't be for certain, it looks basically the same to me, but I think it changed it. Let's go ahead and use the enable one now. And again, I think right as I used it, I noticed it looked like it changed maybe a bit. It's not real noticeable though, so it could be the time of day and stuff. I don't know, you guys can experiment with it. It did look like it worked, but uh, it's not real noticeable to me. Maybe a different area would be or something, but in any case, uh, it brings us to the end of the video because I'm pretty certain that I've tested pretty much everything. I mean, we have like, you know, some of the other... Uh, like medium and stuff there but yeah that's that's everything so in any case uh hopefully this video will be a big help to those of you that are really interested in these fov mods because i know a lot of you really missed them i don't use them myself but when mf sports again all credit goes to him for me being able to make this video uh for letting me know about this when he mentioned this and let me know the name i knew i had to make this video for you guys because i know a lot of you really miss that fov mod so special thank you again to mf sports as well as obviously a special thank you to cyan 49 that he took the time to go in once again figure out how to make these work after they were broken by the AE update and now you've got those FOV mods that you enjoyed so much back as well as uh, mods like that zoom one if you need it and, and a few extra things so in any case I'll leave a link to Cyan49's YouTube channel in the description box down below thank you for taking the time to watch the video take care